Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time y'all watching this, man. It's Mark Key from Boston. We're going to New York, man. We're going to visit Jack King the Divine. He got a new project called Paint Chips. Came out April 2nd, 2021. It's about 26 minutes and 31 seconds. 11 tracks. Like, subscribe, comment, ring the notification bell. Let's get into it. Stop playing. All right, number one. Wesley Snipes Blade featuring Rome. Produced by Juno. Track takes me to a distorted place. Like an unfinished, unpolished place. Mr. Vine is putting in that work on the mic. And so is the MC Rome. Rome leaves his mark on the song as well. Um, great track to start off a project. Number two, Pandora's Box. Produced by Limo, L-I-M, I believe it was a zero at the end, of the, but I'm going to say Limo, right? All right, uptown, kind of up-tempo, but like a dreary beat with like some fun samples. This is what I'm getting at with the track. Um, and he's talking that trife life, man. Uh, King's talking that trife life and about rising above it, you know, or rising above all that trife life, all that street gang or just negative um press you know just getting out of that funk uh number three napoleon hill produced by dj invasion like that dj invasion uh soft tone track allows ja king to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his evil subconscious devil that's on his shoulder um just a battle within, man. It's the battle within all of us. Everyone has a, a battle, the yin and the yang, the devil on the, you know, one shoulder, the angel on the other, you know, or just the, you know, when we wake up, you know, we get to choose what we want to do. We get to choose right from wrong. And that's what this song's about, man. Number four, Liberty City, Flying Rats. Great title, man. Great title. Uh, produced by Juno. Uh, on some France, got a France vibe, you know, Temple, giving the King Ja room to be lyrically inclined on this on this track. I like this track right here. It is one of my favorites on this track, on this album. Number five, Nina Lisa, produced by DJ Envision. It's a distorted love song. Uh, unhealthy love can usually be the best love. Sometimes it's the best love, the unhealthy love. Um, I'm not talking about no Tina, Tina and um, you know Tita Turner and, and Ike Turner type type of you know romance. I'm talking about you can argue a little bit, you can have disagreements, but at the end of the day, man, it's love over hate, man. Make sure you don't go to bed unhappy, man. You gotta gotta kiss her, man. You gotta make love to her, man. Come on, man. Love over hate, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Let me stop, man. But number nine, number five, Nina Lisa, I like this track. But that's what it felt like. It was another distorted, artsy track that I believe the the, the artist was trying to, you know, give to us. Um, and he, I think he did well on this one. Number six, Lazarus, featuring uh, Java Darko, uh, produced by Big Dipper 77. Uh, this track woke me up after the previous mellow track. The other track was kind of mellow. This one kind of... Kind of woke me up. Um, the feature, Javi uh, Doc Gold, puts a stamp on his package. Shout out to that MC. Shout out to all the MCs on here, all the features. They actually all did well. So um, shout out to the features. Sometimes these features come in and you be like, yo, he must have put his boy on. But <laughs> if any of these are his friends, man, they can all rap. So shout out to the um, features. Number seven, I believe this is Saha Sarah. I think produced by Juno. Hope I'm pronouncing that title right. Sampled and chopped legend Anita Baker. Oh, you know him. I love some Anita Baker. The way he chopped it, the way he blended it, it was pretty smooth. Uh, smooth tempo backpack rap. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like he was in a cipher on this, uh, this track right here. It's one of my favorite tracks too. Number eight, Knowledge Reigns Supreme. Produced by Sean Lynx. Uh, knowledge that, well, this is, it was like a, like a speech. It was like a, 
it was a, a, a guy, a, actually a queen speaking first. So it was a woman speaking first, giving a speech. Um, I'll just call it a queen. A queen was speaking, giving us some knowledge. And then all of a sudden, a king was speaking and gave us some knowledge. Um, so listen to this. It's just something. It's, it's Jock King giving us uh, some messages, some art, some words of wisdom, uh, like an interlude. And, uh, and then at the end of this, I'm not sure if it's intentional, but there's a minute one minute, I think, exactly of this space. So I don't know if that was an artsy move or that's just something that was a mistake on the artist's part that didn't, or the producer that didn't chop that minute off. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe the artist can explain in the comments below. All right. Um, number nine, Cole Anthony. Uh, this was an unknown producer. When I, I, I uh, reached out to the artist. To get all the producers, uh, I think he forgot where he got this beat from, but it's, it's a, I like the beat. I know why he used it. Uh, so whoever used this beat, man, if y'all hear it, man, y'all better claim y'all beat. <laughs> but Cole Anthony, uh, piano-driven track, giving Ja King the divine a chance to reminisce uh, just on life period and different aspects and stuff like that. So I like this track. Number 10. Oh, man, he steps it up again on this one. Mr. Doom Part 2 featuring um, Authentic and spelled A-U-T-H-E-N-I like a possibly Q, Authentic. Uh, this one's produced by Flor what is it? F Florine Beats. Florine Beats. This is like a darker piano uh, rift giving the track a smoky jazz club vibe. Um... The MC, what was it actually an MC? I think he was just a singer. It was somebody on the chorus. Authentic, I think was just on the chorus because I didn't hear another rapper. I heard somebody sing. So I'm guessing that was the uh, the other artist. Uh, number 11, uh, Judgment Day, A Glorious Ending. Now, I like this track too. No rap on this track. It's just a heavy rock influence track with a skit in the beginning. And then, like, mostly it's more, it's mostly it's instrumental. It's a lot of instrumental on it. And then, um, with some, you know, some heavy, some heavy, like, chopped up singing at the end. You know, of a woman, like, pouring her heart out. You can tell she's singing her heart out, but he's chopping it up. And, um, believe it or not, when I reached out to the artist, I asked him, like, you know, what does this art, what does this album mean? What does this project mean, man? Because it's, it, for me, it, 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 it seems, I told her it's like it, it, it just to me I was like this is distorted it's, it's, it seems like it's unpolished it seems some like some of the tracks are unfinished like it seemed like he was trying to ghost win with this like be be artsy be like like he was daring to do something different and then I reached out to him and he said it's like you know uh, he said like chip walls or chip paint um, paint chips you know like the wall can still look beautiful but it can have a, like an end then a little chip in it. But it could still look beautiful. It might look better. Um, because art is in the eye of the beholder. And usually when you see a picture, an art, an, or, you know, a drawing or something, you know, if you see any type of art, it's different in everyone's eyes. You know what I'm saying? I think this album is going to be different in everyone's eyes. So this could be, a, you know, the paint chip that you love to look at in your living room. Or it could be the you know, the paint chip that you you you, you don't, you despise, you, you keep telling your, you know, uh, your significant other to, to patch it up, you know what I'm saying? And, it, you know, it, it's just metaphors of, like, life, metaphors of, like, nothing's perfect. You know, you have chips in your life, you have, you know, ups and downs, you know, you have chips in your body, in your soul, in your heart. And um, I like this project, so shout out to your king. Ja King, the divine. Shout out to Paint Chips, man. Listen, I do this for free. I love the music. I love these artists. I love the what these rappers are doing these days. They're bringing lyrical content back, and they're bringing music back. They're bringing beautiful sounds back. So shout out to Ja King, the divine. It's Marky Walker, man. Back in Boston, man. Bean Town.